Hi guys, how are you all doing? And hope you're having a wonderful day and hope you've been enjoying the previous videos that has been coming along this past few days. And guys, today we are going to be discussing something and we're going to be discussing about eight flight rules. Rules that you have to adhere to in flight school. And the reason why I call them eight rules in flight school is because whether you like it or not, these are things that you must one way or the other like no matter how you run if you want to move further if you want to achieve something great if you want to finish your program early that's coming to flight school you will have to adhere to these rules so stay tuned guys i'll be right back so that we can start our cool discussion <laughs> Welcome guys and if you're new to this channel, this is Princess Anu TV. We talk about aviation, motivation and adventure and if you've not yet subscribed, please, please, please subscribe <laughs> so that the channel can move forward and also so that you can get notifications on any video that I post. And guys, okay, like I said, today we're going to be discussing about eight rules, like eight rules in flight school, rules that you have to adhere to rules that will help you personally to move forward rules that will help you to finish your program early and on time to get your license very very early so guys the number one tip i would like to be telling you rule number one is learn to say yes <laughs> and these are things okay i'm talking also from my experience seeing what has been happening especially here and uh you know people say always learn to say no you must not say everything to yes but here in flight school just get me i'm going to be explaining this shortly learn to say yes and this is what i mean if your instructor comes and be like oh blessing are you ready to fly are you sure you're fit to fly guy that's not the moment you have to start saying things like okay sir please can we do it tomorrow or okay sir um sir sir uh you see, that's the moment you give an outright yes. Yes, you might not be so prepared. You can say, okay, sir, I'll, I'll meet you up. Or, okay, sir, can we go in the next 10 minutes? Or, sir, can we go in the next 5 minutes? That will give you time to prepare. But the moment you say, okay, sir, no, uh, no, sir, please, can we fly tomorrow? I'm telling you that one day of not flying can make you lose. Uh, it can bring a difference between you and your costmates for like, for like three months. It can bring a difference of like six six months i'm telling you the truth this is reality because that day you said no there might not be aircraft after that day because the aircraft yes somebody might fly it and it's out of service or out of insurance or out of or one boat is not working or something and they snag the aircraft or peradventure the next day there's not going to be weather good weather enough for you to fly or probably the next day your instructor might not be available so you see you need to learn how to say yes and i'm telling you this has really helped me whenever they say oh bless now you ready to fly Gaskia? i'm always ready <laughs> i don't know what i have it's not about extra energy it's not about too much ginger so you forget about the names they give it but you need to learn how to say yes yes sir i'm ready yes sir you might not be so ready at that time but these are things you can give yourself time to simulate. You can give yourself time to, you know, prepare. And before you know, you're good to go. So if you stick with this rule number one, I'm telling you, you're going to move very, very far. Rule number two, you need to learn to be patient. And patience, like they always say, patience is the key to life. Patience helps you go far. But patience can help you save a lot of things. It can make you not fail a check ride. <laughs> and this is what I mean. In my last, okay, my last progress check before my check ride for my uh, commercial pilot license, I was about to go with an instructor and the weather was not that good. In fact, practically the weather was, the visibility was very low. Like when I called the control tower, it was about 3,000 meters. And uh, it was 3,000 meters. And uh, the man was like, are you going to go? And you know i thought about it like obviously i'm not seeing anything more you know previously we fly they say okay the dust is just around this area when we fly you see that everywhere is kind of clear so i was thinking okay maybe that's the case that day but i was just like no sir we are going to wait and i'm telling you that helped me actually pass that pc because if i had said 
okay so i think we should go just a little patience a little patience can actually give you a power airlines i hear people say things like you see that patience that you have for not going to like jumping into that on that stuff it can save you a lot of things like especially during times when you have this heavy rainfall during summer periods patience just that one minute of patience five minutes of patience can help you save a lot so guys rule number two don't forget be patient be very very patient rule number three be hard working you see I cannot actually overemphasize this part about being hardworking. It's something that generally in life, if you're not hardworking, you will not even go far. They say yes, be hardworking and also work smart. Like it's there's a balance to it all. There's a balance. There's a balance. There's always a balance to it. So, if you come to flight school and you know you want to finish this stuff quick, please be hardworking. Put in your energy. Put in your time. Put in your resources. And that brings me to the rule number four put in your best guys put in your best if they say we are going to do so so exercise tomorrow put in your best go read ahead ask questions ask your ask your friends ask your colleagues ask senior colleagues that have even graduated text them i do that like sometimes when i'm going for a new exercise that i know that okay not so many people in my class have done i chat up my senior colleagues i ask them questions okay please do you know about this do you know about that what do you think about this instructor how does he do his stuff what should i consider what should i put into place all those things it's very good putting your best putting your best guys and the next one is keep practicing keep practicing you see there's something about flying if you leave flying flying is going to leave you i'm telling you the truth that's why you see even in the airlines uh we hear that people have to go for simulator practice every six months you have to keep going and even here our instructors have to keep going for refresher why yes you might be doing it but let someone else check you out to be sure you can actually do it someone else that's why even when you're in flight school you keep having progress tests check rides review progress checks check rights because yes this instructor has flown with you let another person fly with you so that they can check your efficiency then another one will fly with you to check if you've really done it and i'm telling you the truth there's something my instructor kept on telling me it's not what you've done with me that actually matters it's what you do now so what if you might fly very well with your instructor but when you go to someone else to fly the person might be like come what have you been learning you don't know anything and seriously it can be like that it can be very embarrassing but the truth is that if you're already used to that practicing you, you keep practicing even after flying with your instructor you go and ask other people how the instructors are doing it you get one or two things you come back to your room you keep practicing when you go to fly with other instructors it's going to be less uh it's going to be like the workload is going to be lesser you will not have to kick yourself you will not have to break your head you know all those kind of things i want to tell you is that attitude is everything guys attitude is everything and there's this thing they even put on the board here in flight school ksa uh knowledge skill and attitude that's all about flight school knowledge skill and attitude and you see that attitude they say once a part of the a is missing <sighs> it's really going to be difficult it's really going to take that person so much to build a good reputation to build for people to actually like him for people to actually believe what you can do you can have the knowledge you can have the skill if you don't have the attitude you will not go far you need to have a good attitude respect people respect your instructor respect other instructors no matter what happens you just need to be able to patience also is involved bottle up things just be calm because people will definitely be annoying some instructors too might do some things to you that might not be fun and you might be forced you might want to react but you see once once you've already had that good attitude no matter what anybody does to you you still remain who you are i used to tell myself that i cannot be bad because you somebody else is bad as in seriously i tell myself that that you're bad to me doesn't make me bad like i cannot want to replicate who you are like to prove a point okay you did me something bad and i want to prove a point my life is not there to prove a point i don't have any point to prove to you if you're bad to me that's you i will not decide to be bad to other people because you were bad to me no i don't do that so guys that's something you need to have a very very good attitude then another thing i want to tell you is be flexible that's another rule be very very flexible sometimes you might be flying a particular aircraft which was going on now actually 
a flying in particular aircraft that they come and be like oh sorry you can't fly this for now you have to switch to fly this you just have to be flexible that's something about flight school things keep changing rules keep changing they come up with this today tomorrow they come up with that but if you're flexible it will be easy for you to adapt they say okay you're flying with this instructor today and they say sorry you have to be flying with this one and you're like ah me i can't fly with that instructor i'll wait till my instructor comes back i'm telling you you might be waiting for so so long so if you already have that flexibility in your mind if you already believe it in your mind that this doesn't have to do with who I fly with. It's just for me to go perform right. If I perform right, he's going to clear me. If I perform right, she's going to clear me. Once you have that at the back of your mind, I'm telling you, you are going to be good to go, guys. Another rule, guys, is learn from others. You have to keep learning from others. And this is what has also helped me. When I learned things from my instructor, I also try to ask my fellow colleagues, my friends guys how far what have you guys learned to what's up what's this it helps you learn faster because sometimes your instructor might not explain things just exactly the way you want them to be explained he might not go so so like in depth or he might feel i beg you you already know this thing what's the point of wasting time you understand but if you ask your other colleagues if you ask your other friends they they have a way of simplifying you know when we learn from ourselves we have a way of simplifying stuff it's just like now the way i'm explaining this kind of stuff to you like some of these rules that's not the way if an most like very elderly person that doesn't have enough patience you understand is explaining these things to you it will not be the same the, the way we communicate is totally different that and that's how it is in life generally so if your colleagues are the ones explaining things to you you find it easier to kind of grab you find it easier to understand what you are trying to see so that's another thing that will help you move faster that's another room you need to learn from others then the last thing guys this very last thing which is very very important is that you should avoid negative comments avoid negative reports a lot of persons will come and see that and they will talk bad about the particular person oh this guy can apply this guy is bad and Bye.